Hello there, welcome to my channel on chemistry lessons. This is BTEC Applied Science Unit 5, and we're going to look at the difference between a symmetric and an asymmetric alkene. So where does it fit in the spec then? Well, it comes here towards the beginning, um, but really the, the main reason this is on here is because it's going to help us a lot in future videos when we start looking at the reactions of alkenes, and particularly the stability of carbocations. So the aim of this video is that you'll be able to recognize a symmetric or an asymmetric alkene. If you don't subscribe, can I ask that you do? Your support is very much appreciated. Uh, make sure you use the like and the comment features and let me know what we think. So let's take this as a general example then. So these A's and B's could be any groups that are attached. So on the carbon on the left, so we first off, we know that these are alkenes because they've got double bonds. OK, so we can identify them as alkenes because they've got a carbon, carbon, double bond. So let's focus on the alkene on the left. I'm identifying the two carbons either side of the double bond. And I'm labeling them carbon one and carbon two. Now, carbon one has a group B attached and it's got an A attached. The carbon on the right has an A and a B, which are the exact same groups that are attached to carbon number one. So this would be classed as a symmetric alkene because we've got the same groups attached to both carbons. Let's have a look at the one on the right. Now, even though they are definitely different alkenes, the carbon on the left here has an A and a B, Carbon on the right also has an A and a B, which are the identical groups. So this is the same symmetric alkene. So don't mistake symmetric and asymmetric with E and Z, because it's not. OK, so symmetric and asymmetric is talking about the um, sy symmetry around that double bond. It's not talking about isomerism. So don't mistake this for isomerism. So, for example, the one on the left could be this. So that is a symmetric alkene because we've got the same groups attached to both carbons. And the carbon, uh, the alkene on the right, in this case, would look like this. So they are in fact isomers of each other, and more on that in the next video. So they are in fact isomers, but they are both the same symmetric alkene so they are symmetric alkenes so what does an asymmetric carbon look like then well as you might have guessed it's when the carbons either side of the double bond have two different groups attached or not the same two groups attached so on the left hand side here i've got an a and a c on the right hand side, I've got an A and a B. So they are not the same group. We could have one same, one similar group as we do here. We've got A attached to both, or all four could in fact be different, just as long as you don't have the same two groups on both carbons. So let's have a look at an example. Just making up some groups here. So on the right, I've got a H and a CH3. On the left, I'm going to have a CH3 and then a CH3. That would be classed as an asymmetric alkene because both carbons do not have the same groups attached. So the groups on the left are different to the groups on the right of the double bond. So here we have five alkenes on the screen. If you wish or if you feel like it, pause the video and see if you can identify whether they are symmetric or asymmetric. When you want to see the answers or go through the answers, unpause the video. First up, number one, the carbon on the left has a H and a CH3. The carbon on the right has a H and a CH3. So this would be a symmetric alkene. Number two, I can already see that there's a H here and there's a H here. And this is definitely not a H over here. That's an, an um ethyl group. Couldn't get my words out there. That's an ethyl group. So already I can see that this is asymmetric. 
number two. Number three, identify my double bond. On number one, there's a CH3 and a H. And on number two, there's a CH3 and a H. That's symmetric. So this one's symmetric. Number four, identify my double bond. On the right hand side, there's a H and a CH3. Left hand side, there's a H and a C2H5 ethyl group. So number four is asymmetric. Number five, identify the double bond. On the right hand side, I've got a H and a C2H5. On the left hand side, I've got a C2H5 and a H. They are identical, so number five would be classed as a symmetric alkene. And that's the end of this video, so thanks for watching, and please make sure you check out the other videos.